Okay, artists, so now that you know how to create distance in your landscape, close, medium, and far, let's get started. I'm going to be showing you an example in this video, and then you're going to be making your own. So the slides for this week say that, first of all, um, you view the resources. That's what we're doing now with the videos. Then you gather pictures of the type of landscape you want to do, and then you create your landscape rough draft and upload a photo. So um, the first step, of course, watching the videos, this video and the other one, um, and then going ahead and starting it. So step two is to gather photos. Here I have found a photo um, that I want to use as my main photo for my landscape. And it says here that you can actually do any type of environment that you want. For example, desert, a, even a beach if it also has some of the sand showing there, mountains, a forest, whatever um, place inspires you. And do make sure that the photo you choose shows close, medium, and far parts so that your landscape can have distance. With your slides, post the photo into the slides and then add maybe um, a comment about why you chose that place and also add your source. Where did you get that photo? And then after that, it tells you that you can put more photos here for details. So I have added a few more photos in case I want to have some trees. I put a photo with trees. Uh, in case I want to have snow, I put a photo of mountains with snow. So these are some extra photos um, that are going to help me in case I want to change this up a little bit. Okay, so gather your photos, put them into your slides, and explain what uh, you're going to be doing. So this is my example of that and then we're going to jump into my example of actually drawing my rough draft. Okay. Well, I'm going to start drawing my rough draft of my landscape, my practice version. And I'm going to be using a Sharpie so you can see a little better. But I recommend using a pencil and an eraser. Okay, so what I'm going to do is look at my picture that I chose of India and I'm going to start with the closest part which is at the bottom of the page and on my picture there's a hill it kind of comes along here and it has grass so I'm going to draw kind of like a bumpy line that shows what that hill does in my picture. And it just kind of goes like that. And then right away I have a little house which appears to be sitting on that hill and it disappears behind like that. With just the little top of the window speaking out. So there's my little house. Okay, and then I have a middle area where I have some brown hills and they Okay, 
And then I have um, another mountain in the background. It kind of goes up like that. And then I have the far, far away ones, really far. And they are really more pointy. So one comes up over here and it goes down and it goes more, it's more jagged and angled like that. And then one is also a little more soft and it goes over there. And then a little one right there. Okay. So then I will actually maybe put in there where some of my shadows are going to be. I'm going to do the shadows oops, with pencil so that I can go back and fix them later. I found another photo which was better with trees and I'm going to add them onto my landscape here because I think it's kind of boring without any trees or flowers or something like that. So I have my other photo up here now and I'm seeing that some trees have more detail, bigger like here, let's see, right here I'm going to put one that has branches showing like a little bush and it has little leaves okay so there's my little tree get it on there the texture okay and there's another one behind it And then maybe some other trees are going to be back on these other hills. So maybe they're going to look more like, like that. Like little bumps. And maybe there are some pine trees. If there were trees by these buildings, how big would they be? Maybe like that. Okay. So you can see the difference between the sizes. And this is my finished rough draft. When you finish your rough draft, make sure that you insert a clear photo of it into the last slide of our slides for this week, like this. I can't wait to see your own landscape rough drafts. Enjoy. <laughs>